Unfortunately, we have some technical delays, but we're gonna move forward with the meeting. It will be recorded and we'll post it tomorrow when we can uh, sort the uh, technical delays out. Okay. All right, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the Wednesday, September 23rd special board meeting. Um, Everyone is, uh, all trustees are here and present, except for our two stu student trustees who have sent their regrets. Um, can I, uh, are there any, I'd like to remind everyone that we are vide being video voice recorded. Um, I don't believe we're live on the system, but it will be linked to it tomorrow. Um, so do we have any declarations of possible conflict of interest? Seeing none, I'd also like to remind everyone to turn off anything that may make noise. It does, it's there, it's right here. 2.1. Oh, and that's under private, sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, we do not need to have a, a approval of the agenda tonight because this is a set agenda because it is a special board meeting, so, so you're aware. Um, so we do have one item, two items that are coming from private session. Um, Vice Chair Culley. Thank you, it gives me great pleasure to read the first motion of the evening. Be it resolved that the Halton District School Board appoint Stuart Miller to the position of Director of Education and Secretary to the Board for the Halton District School Board effective October 1, 2015, subject to confirmation by the Minister of Education and following confirmation by the Minister, subject to the signing of the employment contract as negotiated by the Board on September 23, 2015, and I so move. Thank you very much, and I am going to break a little bit of protocol, and I'm going to second that motion. I. Um, we went through a very wholesome uh, process where we hired an executive search firm and we had delegates coming um, uh, from across the province and we ended up interviewing five very high caliber top-notch candidates and um, we have decided on recommending Associate Director Stuart Miller as Director of the School Board and it's with great pleasure that we do so. So um, I'm going to second that motion. Are there any speakers on the motion before we vote? And I also wanted to say this was a unanimous decision among trustees when we made this recommendation. Okay, let me go to the voting controls. All right, all those in favor. And I'm happy to say that passes unanimously. Congratulations, uh, associate acting director, or no, I guess it's upcoming director. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you are. I can't, I can't even call you acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> soon. You, you get your training wheels off in a week. <laughs> yep. The soon to be director, uh, Miller. Um, and that's. <laughs> That's one vote I better save. <laughs> um, we, we expect great things. And that's not to say how much we're going to miss our uh, current director. And I think he knows that. So I don't think this is your last board meeting, is it? Really? I hope so. Well, we'll have some opportunity at the end then. Okay. So our next item is a second item from uh, private. So I have a second item regarding negotiations and I so move. And do I have a seconder? Trustee Harvey Hope. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor. And that passes unanimously. Thank you very much. All right, so we're now up to our director's report. 
Director Yuong. Yes, thanks, uh, Chairperson. It's, uh, I'll take this opportunity just to make a few comments uh, uh, rather than a report. Um, it has truly been my pleasure to uh, be the Director of Education for the Halton District School Board for the last five and a little bit years. Um, I've said it before, the success of this board over the five years is clearly impressive. Um, if, if I had to attribute that success, I would attribute to the, the overall leadership of the board. It is not just the director, it is the superintendents, but it's also the trustees. And all the ideas and, and the concepts uh, for our improvement came from one of those three sources. And that's what makes this board as good a board as it is. An outstanding board, a board that is, that is the envy of many in terms of our EQAO results, that's a given. But we've taken EQA results that were well above the provincial average and we've increased our performance. And that's very difficult to do. It's very difficult when you're near the top to continue to improve and we've done that. But we've also taken care of the mental health of our students and we have an outstanding mental health initiative that I think is going to pay uh, substantial dividends. Perhaps not dividends that will measure against a mark on a report card, but uh, certainly a dividend that in terms of student welfare and I'm very proud of that initiative as well. We've taken care of every student, as, as our, our sign says. Uh, we are the, the only board in the province to offer a high school's major type certificate to our students who are not going on to a, a diploma. And uh, high school's major is certainly an important initiative, but most of our high school's major students in the province are going on to other successes. They're going to colleges, they're going to universities, they're going to, to apprenticeships, so they're gonna have their skills certified. The students that we're talking about have no other opportunity other than what we've given them. So I'm very proud of that and I hope that this board can be the model for that in, in the rest of the province because I think that's a very important initiative. And I can go on and on and on. And I think some of these initiatives were certainly generated by your, your senior, senior team, uh, but lots of them came from this floor. And some of the things I'm most proud of and the thing I am absolutely most proud of is our joint ventures together, where we've worked together on an initiative. And the one that comes to mind is the selection of superintendents. We did that together. Our committees were true, co truly collaborative, uh, sharing ideas, viewing our candidates and selecting the best people possible. And I will tell you that, not, that the people that we have selected and they're around the room tonight are the best in the province. So you share that success with me. and, and I'll take it with me forever that I believe I've left this board in good hands. Uh, it's, it's reassuring to me. These people are my legacy and I, I'm, I feel very confident in that legacy. So thank you all for sharing in the leadership of this board. It has been an honor and a privilege to, to serve all. Thank you. Comments or questions for the director on his report tonight? Um, I'm going to say a few words. Um, director Uwali, you have, um, you've liked the captain of the ship. You have to steer the boat, but you're being told by many, many people on what path to take. Some telling you to go that way, some are telling you to go that way, some are telling you to go straight ahead, some are telling you to go backwards. But I think you've done an amazing job of getting us where we're supposed to be going. And, and that's further ahead than we ever thought we could be. We, have a, we had a multi-year plan before multi-year plans became implemented by the, by the province. And that is also partly a credit to you because um, it is you and the senior admin have accomplished so much in these last five years and you've taken a, a multi-year plan which was built with trustees created an operational plan which went all the way down to the schools and the classrooms and has made a difference for students and it's always come back to making a difference for students and that's very clear in all of your messages how important it was about what affects students and I I don't know um, I'm trying to hold it together <laughs> but you've also done the most with least 
uh, as the lowest funded school board in the province, we are also one of the best school boards of the province and maybe in Canada, maybe the all world, who knows. <laughs> but because of your leadership and guidance, you've helped people to, um, to try to excel and do more with what we have. And that's why we have that word halt and eyes, because we do truly halt and eyes things and do better than what the province mandates. So I believe you're leaving us a legacy. You do have big shoes to fill. I don't know what size you wear and what size Stuart wears, but you still have big shoes to fill. And, but thank you very much for all that you've done for the school. Thank we'll you. miss you. Okay, communications from the chair. Um, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> well, Stuart. <laughs> well, I've already suggested he'd be a great facilitator for our multi-year plan. <laughs> so I'm putting that thought out there. Um, I, um, trying to think if I have any actual communications. Um, we are having a joint meeting with the Halton Catholic District School Board next Tuesday at six here um, to discuss the um, parameters for the transportation study. I just want to remind everybody so you mark it on your calendar. Um, I am wait awaiting confirmation, but they were going to try and get student first um, here so they could uh, answer any technical questions because they're the ones who are going to be actually doing the uh, um, the survey or the, the um, plotting. So um, I'll let you know as soon as I get that information. So um, other than that, are there any Trustees, questions and comments tonight? Seeing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Oh, oh. Um, I think we need to have a comment from our um, apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> Director in waiting. Director in waiting, okay. Uh, um, Stuart Miller. I'd just like to say um, um, thank you to everybody uh, thank you to the Board of Trustees for placing your faith and confidence in me, and, and um, I, I, I hope I won't let you down, and I don't at all think I will let you down. I want to thank the senior admin around the back of the table, the, the back of the room, uh, for being great colleagues and continuing to work with me and enlightening me. Uh, and I especially want to thank David and also Gail. But, but David, thank you so much. I've learned a great deal from you. I've learned from your leadership style lousy jokes um, <laughs> I think I'll have to buy myself a pipe um, but I, I I'm very very appreciative of uh, of the faith that everybody's placed in me and that includes everybody in this room and I and uh, I I also want to comment on this board I started teaching in this board and it was funny I was thinking about it this morning and I remember my first day at White Oaks uh, teaching general level grade 10 science. And I remember the first student that came into that class. I won't say his name now. He was quite a character. But um, on an occasion like this, you reflect and you think, I'm a teacher. And now that I'm a director, I'm still a teacher. I still have the same heart of what that meant, why I got into this profession. And, uh, and I'm, I'm proud to be part of this board. And there's one final irony here. And uh, it's, it's, I find it very ironic that um, um, the three most important people in my life um, for helping me in education are all female. And if it's a, an entire female board that has uh, entrusted me to be the director. And those three people are an, an old teacher friend of mine who became a principal, and some around the room will know her, Leona Woods. Um, you know her very well. She, she encouraged me to go forward and forward in education and Leona's been retired a few years now she was a, a principal of play clock and MM and so on uh, my mother uh, and who doesn't have an inspirational mother but my my mom you know um, she had a tough I mean she grew up during the war her house was bombed and uh, she became a nurse and trained and you know you look at her as a role model and finally my wife the person I admire the most so it's, I, I think it's ironic that a, an all-female team has selected me when the people that have meant the most to me are females. So, wow. <laughs> I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> That's a charge of equity. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Okay, now can I have a motion to adjourn? Uh, Trustee Gray seconded by, no one wants to adjourn, Trustee L. Harrison. So all those in favor, just a minute, I gotta find it. All those in favor. <laughs> and that passes unanimously. Thank you very much and uh, congratulations to both of you. Yeah, <laughs>